already know, space is crazy. So crazy that it'll make your ant seem sane. You know what else is crazy? The amount of exoplanets near us. But what is the hunt for habitable exoplanets found now? One of the newest planets to be discovered inside the Milky Way that falls into the category of Earth-like is named Proxima Centauri d and sits inside the Proxima Centauri star system. This newly found planet has the lowest amount of mass of any exoplanet ever discovered, measuring at just over one quarter of the mass of Earth. Its discovery has shown how good our ability to detect exoplanets has become. It's located within the habitable zone of Proxima Centauri, orbiting roughly 4.3 million kilometers away, and orbits its parent star in just over five days. While its orbit is within the star's habitable zone, its orbit is closer to its parent than Mercury is to the Sun. You might think that this would lead to the planet's surface being unbearably hot, but coincidentally, Proxima Centauri is quite a bit smaller than the Sun, and thus is much cooler and therefore does not emit nearly as much harmful radiation. This moves its habitable zone much closer to the star, which means it may be possible for water to be present on Proxima Centauri d. Scientists have estimated that low-mass planets like this one are the most abundant type of planet in our galaxy and could be the best candidates for the search for life. How was this planet found, and how many more would we be able to find in the same way? In 2019, a team of scientists from around the world were responsible for finding Proxima Centauri d. This small planet was found using the Eschel spectrograph for rocky exoplanets and stable spectroscopic observations instruments, which can be nicely shortened to its common use name, Espresso. The team of international astronomers used the Espresso to monitor Proxima Centauri's movement over the span of two years to look for slight variations in its behavior using a method called the radial velocity technique. By measuring the star's wobble over this time, the team was able to discover that Proxima Centauri is in fact wobbling, moving roughly 40 centimeters back and forth every second. Using these measurements, they were able to prove the existence of the new planet and to calculate its mass as well as a few other properties. Being able to find a planet this small using this method has put a lot of excitement into the field of astronomy and has increased the drive to find more exoplanets due to the possibilities of what else could be found using the same process. One of the leading scientists on this team, Zhao Faria, is quoted as saying, This result clearly shows what Espresso is capable of and makes me wonder about what it'll be able to find in the future. How many new exoplanets might be lurking out in our galaxy waiting to be found? And how many will we find if this method can be applied to more stars throughout the Milky Way? The parent star of this newly found planet is Proxima Centauri, which happens to be the closest star to our own solar system. It is located just under 4.25 light-years away from the Sun and sits inside the constellation of Centaurus in the southern sky. Discovered in 1915, this star's proximity to us has made it a very popular object for astronomers to study in the years since its first detection. Faria has previously stated in an interview that this exciting star system is packed with interesting worlds for us to explore. Is this solar system extremely special, or is it just the first time our technology was able to detect all the planets orbiting around a star? Over the years, astronomers found two other exoplanets orbiting this star, in addition to Proxima Centauri d. They're called Proxima Centauri b and Proxima Centauri a, and of course, Proxima Centauri d. Proxima Centauri b was discovered in August of 2016, and it also sits within the habitable zone of its home star, with a mass of just over 1.25 times that of Earth's, with a radius of just under 10% larger. It sits in an orbit roughly 7.5 million kilometers away from the stellar body, which is rather small compared to the Earth's orbit, which is nearly 150 million kilometers away from the Sun. Although its orbit is much closer than the Earth's, only taking 11.2 days to complete, Proxima Centauri's tight habitable zone means Proxima b has a decent chance of holding liquid water on its surface. The second planet found, Proxima Centauri c, was discovered in January of 2020. This planet sits much further away from its star, with an orbit of roughly 220 million kilometers away. For Proxima c, it takes 1900 days, or 5.2 years, to complete one full orbit around the star. Could the information discovered about this planetary system help astronomers find more of them out there?
The hunt for exoplanets has been exploding in recent years, especially with the help of deep space telescopes in orbit like Hubble, as well as the powerful telescopes on Earth like the Very Large Telescope in Chile. So far, over 5,000 exoplanets have been found throughout the Milky Way in over 3,750 individual planetary systems, with at least one exoplanet being found outside of our galaxy as well. But the exoplanet hunters out there are about to get a huge boost in the technological power available to scan the cosmos in much more detail. With the James Webb Space Telescope currently in orbit and preparing itself to take a deeper look into space than any other telescope before, its future contributions to the hunt for exoplanets are looking extremely promising. James Webb was not only built to look deeper into space than ever before, it's also equipped with a wide array of instruments that will allow us to take a more detailed look at the exoplanets. These will allow it to easily detect the different elements present in the atmosphere of exoplanets to give astronomers a clearer picture of what these exoplanets are composed of. With the capabilities of the Espresso instrument, in addition to the power and scope of the James Webb Telescope, many scientists' minds are whizzing with what they will be able to find in the not-too-distant future. Who knows if it will be essential for our species to find another planet that has everything we need to survive. This possibility has been the driving force for many people's hunt for exoplanets like the Earth. The exoplanets that have the possibility of being habitable fall into a few categories, including the Earth-like planets such as Proxima Centauri d that have masses similar to or smaller than the Earth's. Another category of exoplanets are called the super-Earths, which have masses larger than the Earth's, like the one other planet in the system, Proxima Centauri b. Are there special circumstances that lead to the creation of habitable planets, or is it more of a game of chance being played throughout the universe? Would you move to another planet if the option arises? Thanks for watching. See you next time on Matter.